so there's like a lot of uh, backwards things that we learn in school or um, important things that we should learn that like we're just never taught um, an important thing I think is um, on the topic of wealth and money so what school doesn't teach you about about wealth and money is simply this this is the reality of what money is money is an exchange of value so the more value of what you do the um, the more money you get you're rewarded that amount of money whatever someone does in society has a certain amount of value and then they get money in accordance to how much value they create or how much value they perform so when you work a job typically you are learning to do just one task so you're learning to do something repetitive or something maybe it's a skilled labor or maybe it's something uh maybe you work in an office and you have to do different tasks in the office but your your job is a certain task it's a certain number of roles and you're working for someone else you're not directly creating value necessarily in the same way that a business would but you're working somewhere within a business because everything is really a business um you're you work for someone you do certain tasks and that's the value that you contribute so that's why an engineer would make more than say a janitor because the society perceives what the engineer does as having higher value than what the janitor does okay so that's why some people are paid more some people are paid less um the more if you're an entrepreneur the more value that you create typically the more you can earn you know and um and people don't understand this there people on politics i'm neither left or or right but like a lot of people just don't understand it politically or otherwise um i find it funny because jeff bezos is the richest man in the world and everyone is outraged that oh you know amazon doesn't he he doesn't um pay any taxes or anything you know well the reason he doesn't pay taxes is because he doesn't take profit he doesn't make any profit at the end he comes with zero dollars for his company because they're investing all of their money and putting it back into the company um but that's kind of aside um i always find it funny because why why is jeff bezos the richest person in the world because amazon creates a lot of value for a lot of people all over the world you know and um people millions billions of people every day are probably using amazon um and all of these people that are outraged it's like oh great you're you're very outraged about jeff bezos and he's a horrible guy by the way have you used amazon recently um and of course they have you know and so their opinion is kind of moot and it's kind of uh bs for them to have like an opinion about it if they're using amazon like the reason he has that wealth is because he creates value for the society for other people and he's the richest man in the world because the amount of value that he gives is um is that high and is it that important to society you know uh same for elon musk he he became a billionaire he wasn't always a billionaire because the things he's doing for electric cars and uh and uh space and interplanetary travel that's gonna um that's gonna be things that are pretty important for society and are contributing in a major way and are creating a lot of value in in society and in world economies and because of that he gets a lot of money um so typically the the value that you get is fixed why school doesn't teach entrepreneurship is because there are certain powers like at the top that want people to not be able to think for themselves and they want people to kind of work jobs and um and kind of get told what to do because if a lot of people were thinking for themselves and um trying to create their own thing then that could be kind of problematic for society you know like during renaissance periods what would in history what would happen after is a uh, kind of social uh breakdown you know moral breakdown religious breakdown because people are suddenly really thinking for themselves really trying to do different things be original be creative um but that breaks down a society if that's that's the norm you know and also in other ways um i won't go off too too much off tangent but like um it when when that happens suddenly society is much more competitive and like there isn't something for the everyday person for the regular joe whereas in a society where everyone works jobs and jobs are encouraged entrepreneurship isn't encouraged regular joe can get a regular job and have a regular basic life which is 
a good life. It's better than better than a lot of parts of the world, you know. Um, so the to, the practical information is that the the practical thing I want to say that if you if you are like so this is how value works right and if you want to make more money and earn more money wh what does that take it takes being able to essentially have something where like the value that you do for society you get to kind of set how much you pay for that that either means you do something with sales so like a sales type of job where you get paid by commission you get paid the more more sales more closes you can get either online or over the phone or in person the more money you make that's one or the other is some kind of entrepreneurship where you're creating something of value and then you're getting paid for that so you're you're created for your, uh, you get paid for your work and and like for with something like YouTube or a blog or uh, products, for example, like you can create something and then that thing that you can create, it can generate you wealth and then you can continue to work. But how much can you work in a week? A hundred hours, but your work that you created can also work for you. Um, so those are, that's one way. Another way is like a sales job or something, something where you can get paid not for your time, but for the work that you do. And uh, you can kind of, I guess like increase the value that you do over the long run in that way, you know, because otherwise why are people paid for their time? Because the only real value that they can do is within that time of eight to five or nine to five, you know? And, um, that's why they say work. If you work a job, you're, you're never going to get rich working for someone else that there there's truth in that because, um, if you look at the billionaires and the richest people in the world, um, I'd say majority of them, unless they inherited their wealth, they were um, they were part of a company or a corporation. They started something, you know. They started some business. Um, if you start a business, you can create value. Um, and if you create value, then that's what gets paid. You know that that's what society is. And when when people work a job, they're working for someone who is at the top creating value, you know, and that's like a corporation, a company or something. But at the top, there's a CEO, there's people that founded it and started it. Someone, everything is a business, you know, college is a business, banks are a business, everything is a business. And they're working for someone at the top of the business, you know, and um, that's what it is. And everything is creating value, you get paid for value. So my last point is that we we tend to be told that like once you get a certain age okay get a job and but really you can technically not work a job your entire life if your if your work is like creative work but that's getting paid that that is of high value to other people in the marketplace or in the world and um and you get paid because because you're creating value for other people so if you're doing some kind of you're an author you're a writer you're a musician whatever if you're going and creating value and you're giving value to other people in some way, then you can um, then you can succeed in making money outside of just working a regular job. And then if you can if you learn sales, you learn marketing, you learn entrepreneurship, and you learn um, a few different fields, it's not too difficult. But once you can do that, then you can further go and have a really high income without having to work a high income job and it ends up being much easier than working a high income job because you're working for yourself and you get to create the value and then get paid for that value and um and i guess just the very last point that like someone who is like an artist or something they would get a lot of value for themselves out of being able to learn how to monetize that in an efficient way so like doing certain roles and certain gigs and doing maybe marketing themselves well, affiliate marketing, um, teaching lessons, setting their own prices, um, knowing how to create offers and how to successfully uh, contact people and increase their sales of whatever they're selling, whether that be lessons or courses or training or um, or music they created. Um, there's there's a lot of value in learning sales, entrepreneurship, marketing, and these um, different skills, sister skills that all kind of go together. And in doing so, you get to create a lot of value for other people and you get to get paid significantly more than any employee can ever get paid uh, in the long run. And um, depending on your personality, it may be easier to be an entrepreneur, but it does take a lot of hard work and a lot of smart work. Um, but yeah, so that's that's just a general breakdown of something that I really think we're never taught at all in school. Like we're not people teachers don't know anything about businesses and I don't think they care to know um a lot of people have an ego or a 
sort of, sort of sense of like what they want to believe and think in and and outside everything outside of that they don't really want to think about those things or consider those things um but that's what value is and value creation is that's what that's where money is made is doing things of value for other people and it doesn't necessarily have to be in just working a job um and if you want to get paid more you have to find out ways you can increase your value um and that's kind of it